Hello. Today we're going to be going over the PII Protect Portal, how to use it, and why it's important for you to use it and really engage in the product. As you can see, when you first log in, this is the screen you'll be presented with. It's your welcome screen. There's a short video here you can watch that gives you a little bit more details on how scores are done and how to get around in the portal, but we're going to go through it as well. When you first log in, there's a few tasks that you need to complete. Complete when you get started. First one is you need to check and see if your account has been compromised. You simply click here and it's going to give you the option to check and see if you have any information out on the dark web um, that might have been compromised, whether it be passwords, um, account information, any of that. This will do a quick dark web scan to see if you have any information out there that's on the dark web. As you can see, my email address does not. Uh, but that's how you get started with just getting the basic information. In there. The next step is to take the cybersecurity awareness training. There's one main training per year that you can take. It's a fairly short training. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes to get through. And then there's a quiz afterwards that you can take and you get your certificate saying that you've been trained. The cybersecurity portal, everything you do impacts your overall cybersecurity score whether it is taking your security awareness training, taking the weekly micro trainings, or attesting to the terms and conditions, all of those things will impact your overall score. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get in there to calculate your ESS score. Once you check to see if your account has been compromised, you've taken your security awareness training. The next thing would be to check your ESS score. So I'm going to click next. And it's going to bring me into the portal. As you can see, based on my score, I've already done a little bit of the trainings and we're going to kind of go through this a little bit now. Um, we're going to switch to employee view so you guys can see what everybody else will see. In the portal, you can see this is the score, this is the board. As you can see, a lot of these names are not real names, which you can see my name is Oops again. Um, and it'll give you an idea of what everybody else in the company is and where they're at. Now, a lot of times it's fun to try to guess whose different names are, but you can a lot of times tell just by personalities and knowing people. But this will show you where you sit overall in the company of how well am I doing on my score. Okay. Um, you can see my score has not changed much. I passed the cybersecurity awareness training videos and my score stays pretty much the same. In here, you can see I have zero data breaches, meaning that my information, my username and password is not on the dark web anywhere. You can see that I have received 100% on my security training score. It's important to know that on that security training on your annual one only, if you do not receive a good score the first time, you can actually go in and take that training again so that you can improve that score. The goal on the annual training is not to make you once and done, it's to educate you so that you know the things to watch out for to protect yourself. Something to remember as you're going through these trainings, they're not just about work safety and what's here. A lot of these trainings you'll see are going to be trainings that will apply to you in your personal life as well. The goal of the cybersecurity training is to equip you so that you can be knowledgeable and protect yourself and the company from cyber attacks. You can see down here my average micro quiz score is 96%, which means sometimes I try to go through them too fast and I don't take enough time to make sure that I really understand the short video. If I want to get more details, I can click details and you can do that on any of these. And then you can see that I had taken this quiz and what my score was. You can see here I really clearly did not pay nearly enough attention on that and just tried to breeze through it. These micro training quizzes are very easy. Uh, you simply click on one of them, you'll get a weekly email that has them. But if you wanted to go in and take some additional ones, you could click on them. And as you can see, this is a two minute and 59 second video. You watch that video. And then in this case, there's four, sometimes five questions that you're going to be asked to 
make sure that the video you just watched, you understand the details of what it is and why it's important and how you protect yourself. Really simple to do. The more of those you take, the higher your score goes. The less you take, the lower your score is. It's fairly straightforward. Another thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing phishing emails. So we are going to send out a simulated phishing attack um, on a random basis. You're never going to know when it's coming. You're never going to know what the subject is. But on occasion, an email is going to come through. And based on the trainings that we've done and the information that you've been given in your weeklies, you're going to be hopefully equipped enough to know, oh, yeah, I'm not going to open that up. Sometimes people open them up. If you do open them up, it has a very adverse score on your ESS, which is your Employee Secure Score. Um, sometimes you click on those and it might take you a while to recover from clicking on that email. The point of this is to make sure that you are cautious about the emails you click on. Security breaches in companies happen 84% of the time because an employee has done something they shouldn't have done. Of that 84%, almost 53% of those are via breaches are via email phishing attacks. So part of this is to just really educate you on what you shouldn't be doing and some of the scams that are out there. I'm sure you've all seen emails come through uh, or received phone calls that sound legit, look legit, but there's just something not quite right about them. Well, the purpose of this training is to help you identify some of those so that you can better equip yourselves to not be that person that clicked on that email or gave out information over the phone that you shouldn't have because nobody ever wants to be that person. A couple of quick things down here that we're going to review. Um, on here, this is obviously to get you back to the home page. Security training is that once a year annual training. The security newsletter, if you want to go back and review any of the newsletters, you can actually come back in here and you can go and you can look at any of the newsletters that we have. You can simply download them, save them, <clears throat> and as soon as it loads up, you'll see that you'll just get a quick, it's a quick, easy read um, that'll give you just a little bit of information on how some of the different uh, phishing attacks happen, how to be aware. Uh, sometimes it'll be on current trends. Sometimes it'll be on issues of things that happen. Like this one goes into a little bit of social engineering, which is one of the big ways hackers are getting in right now. But it gives you some good information. The next one here is going to be your micro trainings. Again, you can go back and you can take as many of the micro trainings as you have time or is allowed. And as you can see, we've got quite a few of them. There's a hundred and some micro trainings currently that you can go in and watch and take the quick to excuse me, the quick quizzes on. Um, some of these come in here are like how to prevent identity theft, password tips, how to safe, stay safe on LinkedIn. That's a big one for people. Tax season. Some of these are like the IRS one. You'll, so they're not just all emails. Some of them are social engineering ones. Like I'm sure some of you have received that wonderful phone call from the IRS that says that there's a warrant out for your arrest and that if you don't pay this amount of money in back taxes right now, the police are going to come and get you. Well, clearly that's a scam. The IRS will never call you and tell you that. But a lot of times people don't know, so they panic and they don't know what to do. Um, but there's all kinds of different trainings that you can come in and do. Um, it's just a matter of making sure you're equipped and knowledgeable. Watch these videos. The more of these, these videos you take and the more of these tests you do well on, the higher your score is. Adversely, if you're going to do these, make sure that you're paying attention to them and you take them because if you do the fake warrant scam, for example, like I did and you score poorly, that poorly reflects on your overall ESS score, which is something that we obviously want to avoid doing. Um, and with that, we'll end this meeting, but if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email us at pro-it at teamats.com. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day.